Hi, and welcome to all the things you're looking for. Today, we're going to have a look at this, the brand new Bowers Wilkins PI7S2. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 in a quiet environment. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 in a quiet environment. And now let's test them in a noisy coffee shop environment. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 in a noisy coffee shop environment. We have a decibel reading of something around 60. I'm going to be quiet for a moment so that you can hear how much noise is coming through. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 in a noisy coffee shop environment. And this time with the PI7, these are the PI7 in a quiet environment. These are the PI7 in a quiet environment. And now let's test them in a noisy coffee shop environment. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 in a noisy coffee shop environment. And we have a decibel reading of something around 60. I'm going to be quiet for a moment. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 in a noisy coffee shop environment. And now let's test the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 with a train passing by in the background. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 with a train passing by in the background. And we had a decibel reading of up to 75. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of up to 80. These are the Bowers & Wilkins with a train and some cars passing by in the background. And now let's test the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 with a train passing by in the background. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 with a train passing by in the background, and we had a decibel reading of up to 75. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 with a train passing by in the background. The second train is just incoming. And we have a decibel reading of up to 80. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 with a train and some cars in the background. And now let's test the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 with a kettle in the background heating up some water. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 with a kettle in the background heating up some water. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S2 with a kettle in the background heating up some water and we have a decibel reading of something around 50. 
And now let's test the Bausenwirkens PI7 with a kettle heating some water in the background. These are the Bausenwirkens PI7 with a kettle in the background heating some water. And we have a decibel reading of something around 50. These are the Bausenwirkens PI7 with a kettle in the background heating up some water. And now let's test the Bowers and Bergens PI7S2 with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Bowers and Bergens PI7S2 with a dishwasher running in the background. And we have a decimal reading of something between 55 and 60. And now let's test the Bowers and Bergens PI7 with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 with a dishwasher running in the background, and we have a decibel reading of something around 55. We're going to be quiet for a moment. These are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 with a dishwasher running in the background. And now let's test the Bowers and Wilkins PI7S2 with a vacuum cleaner in the background. These are the Bowers and Wilkins. PI7S2 with a very loud vacuum cleaner in the background. We have a decibel reading of something between 75 and 80. I'm going to be quiet for a moment. These are the Bowers and Brickens PI7 with a very loud vacuum cleaner in the background. And even though noise cancellation is being turned on, there's a lot of noise coming through. And now let's test the Bowers Wilkins PI7 with a vacuum cleaner in the background. These are the Bowers Wilkins PI7 with a vacuum cleaner in the background. We have a decibel reading of something between 75 and 80. I'm going to be quiet for a moment. These are the Bowers Wilkins PI7 with a very loud vacuum cleaner in the background. And although there's noise cancellation being turned on, a lot of noise is coming through. And now let's test the Bowers and Birkins PI7S2 with a toilet flushing in the background. These are the Bowers and Birkins PI7S2 with a toilet flushing in the background. And now let's test the Bowers and Birkins PI7 with a toilet flushing in the background. These are the Bowers and Birkins PI7 with the toilet flushing in the background, and we have a decibel reading of something around 60. This is a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PI7S2 in a windy environment. This is a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PI7S2 in a windy environment. This is a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PI7S2 in a very windy environment. This is a test with Bowers and Wilkins PI7S2 in the driving windy environment. This is a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 Series 1. This is a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 Series 1 in the very windy environment. This is a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 in the windy environment. This is a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 in the windy environment. I can hear the wind clearly. The Bowers and Wilkins PI7S2. By the way, I have decided to record this video with the PI7S2, so please leave me a note below if you prefer my video being made with um, the summary being made with the device being tested, or maybe with a more professional recording microphone. But back to the PI7S2. They come with, a, of course, a charging case. It has the same dimensions and look and feel and functionality of the one as the PI7. They come with three pairs of silicon ear tips, a USB charging cable, and a 3.5 millimeter to USB-C cable. The PIC PI7 has to basically look uh, the same as the PI7. Well, almost. They are being offered now in new colors, satin black, canvas white, and midnight blue. 
And if you look closely, the grills over the microphone seems to have changed a little bit. And there seems to be a sensor now just below the microphones. Although the earbuds might look a little bit bulky, um, the weight is only 7 grams and they are easy and very comfortable to wear, I have to say. The PI7S2 come with 24-bit with adaptive FX, classic NHD and offer a superior sound. Bausen Wilkins does not mention anything about the new driver, so they are probably the same as in the Series 1. I did a lot of comparison during the last days, switching them over and over again multiple times during a song and when I noticed the difference it always came back to the fit, the seal which wasn't quite optimal. Um, what else? Noise cancellation. Noise cancellation is okay, but it cannot be compared to the class leading noise cancellation of for example the Bose Quite Comfort. Um, both quite comfort too. The passive noise cancellation is pretty good. What I noticed is when you turn on noise cancellation, the sound becomes much more bass heavy. I don't mind it. Some might like it, others may not. The PS7S2 are easy to set up, but they are not offering any EQ adjustments. So you have to stick with the signature sound of the Bowers and Wilkins. But compared to other earbuds, the sound design is really good. I can't think of any adjustments, but of course, um, sound experience is a very subjective thing. According to Bowers and Wilkins, the battery life is now five hours with A and C off. That means one hour more than the S1. With 15 minutes of charge, you get around two hours of playback. The PS7 has to come with a new antenna design with an improved signal strength which shall give you 25 meters of range, which is approximately the double of the original range. No improvements on the Bluetooth side, no Bluetooth 5.2, unfortunately, only 5.0 as in the S1s. As the S1, the PS7 does not come or does not offer multipoint pairing, it's a shame, but it's no deal breaker. It would have been nice. But with the Bluetooth chipset being used, you won't have a chance to get the upcoming Bluetooth LE audio. What else? The wireless audio retransmission feature of the case is a very nice feature that might come handy for some. Um, what's the verdict? If you own the Bowers & Wilkins PI7S1, the improvements are probably too minor to justify such an expensive upgrade. Except if you want one of the new colors or you need the one hour or more battery life or you had problems with your Bluetooth signal in the past um, or having connection dropouts. I never had any problem or dropouts. Whether worth to buy? Well, I guess my wife will say yes since um, she will get the PI7. And as an owner of the PI7, Bowers and Wilkins offered a discount for early buyers for the PI7 S2. Would I have bought them without the discount? I don't know. Let's get to the pros. The Bowers & Wilkins PS7 S2 have a superb, engaging and convincing sound stage. They are comfortable to wear even for a longer period of time. They have a premium look and feel, of course, must at this price point. They have a clever charging case with the possibility of being used as a Bluetooth transmitter for audio gear that comes without Bluetooth. They come with adaptive FX, well, cons. The noise cancellation could be better, call quality in noisy environments could be better, and they are expensive. So if noise cancellation and call quality is the most important, well, then other earbuds such as the Bose Quite Comfort 2 might be a better choice. But they simply cannot compete in terms of sound staging quality, which means as long as you get a tight seal with the PI7S2, they deliver a fantastic listening experience, especially for wireless earbuds. They are the best I have heard so far. Well, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.